Hi everybody, welcome along. It's Wednesday afternoon here and it's a really nice summery, sunny day here. It's enough to put anybody in a good mood, even Mr F. <laughs> no, he's always in a good mood. Um, welcome along everybody, old and new. Um, I just want to address one question that I've been asked time and time again this week and it is can for this uh, distress collage medium the tim holt stuff that i use it's a like mod podge but it's um the tim holtz version and it's this color it's this vin what they call vintage um, and i use it quite a lot because i use a lot of vintage papers and if you're decoupaging onto them um this just evens out the the color you can't see the edge of the the tissue and loads of people this week have been asking me if I added this to it would it work if I added that to it would it work I don't know I, I honestly don't know and I haven't had time to try it out but if I was in a situation where I really needed this and I didn't have any I think what I would do is take the ordinary your ordinary mod podge this is the distress collage medium mat the ordinary clear stuff um, and I would add to it one of these inks uh, this is a set that Hilda bought me and they're really nice with inks what you get is a lot of pigment it's really um, concentrated and this has got a sepia in it so I'd give that a good shake and I'd add a little bit to the to this stir it in I mean this ordinarily I would add water to this anyway so you're not gonna and it still works perfectly so you're not going to take away its stickiness unless you add a load. <clears throat> so that's what I would do. I would take the ordinary stuff and I'd add some uh, concentrated pigments such as ink. If you haven't got ink and you're going to have to go out and buy it, then I would recommend that you buy, buy this ready-made because it works work out cheaper in the long run, I would say. So that's... I'm sorry I have no definitive answer for you, but... <laughs> If you have inks and you want that, that's what I would do. Okay, <laughs> roll call. Roll call. Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Roz. Roz. Michelle. Just a second. Michelle, hello. Uh, Janet Rosier. Hello, I think you're called Jan. You signed your letter Jan, so I'm going to call you Jan. Uh, Ros, did I say Ros? I said Ros, hello Ros. Shimmery. Hi Shimmery. Shimmery always comments on my video. She's such a mm, sweetheart. Maureen Hooper. Hello Maureen. Hina. Hina. Oh, you, you, the stuff that you've posted. Thank you. You know, you're really good for the group and we're so glad that you've uh, decided to join us. Helen Adams. Hi Helen. Margaret Fay. Do we know this name? Uh, no. Hi, maybe uh, just for a short while. Love your tutorials. I've learned so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Margaret. I hope you stay more than a little while. Uh, Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Uh, uh, Kilsha Danny. No, I don't know that name. Do we know this name? No. Sorry if you're already a member of our group and I just haven't clocked the name, uh, but welcome along. <laughs> That's about you. And that's about my lot. Okay, well, welcome everybody. Uh, we're back to this file folder that we were that we've been working on. The dog wants to say hello. I think <laughs> um, these are the file folders, the set of six that Lynn Whitman sent me, and I instantly fell in love with them. And it took me a good while to actually dare to use them because I just loved looking at them so much. All right, Bobby, we've heard you now. Good boy. No, I thought it wouldn't work. Bob. <laughs> um, and so I chose to use this lilac one. Not for any other reason than... I just Well, I love them all. But anyway, that was the one I've chosen. So this is the folder. It's the same front and back. Uh, it's about... I don't know, I'm guessing. I'd say that's about 220 GSM, something like that. And this is it inside. And it's got it's this nice sort of... Uh, creamy colour inside and we chose to use the My Porch Prince shabby purple set. 
Uh, we've got another newbie, Cindy Phillips. Hello, Cindy. Welcome along. I'm so glad you could join us. Everybody will make you feel welcome. For you newcomers uh, that I haven't seen before, we have a sister group on Facebook, and it's called Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal Group. So if you want to pop over there and join up there, you'll see all the same names, same people. We're a lovely group. We're really supportive. And and actually now we're doing some really good work as well. <laughs> um, so if you want to pop over and join us, it'd be nice to have you with us. Uh, right, so this is the Shabby Purple set from My Porch Prints. And all of the, the pages, the design pages, I've decided to put lace down the edge. So it's quite a sort of solid lace and I think it stands up quite well. So that's the front page. I won't go into too much detail about things. You'll see that on the walkthrough. Uh, this is a pocket. Now then, this paper here is not from the eagle-eyed amongst you will have spotted. It's not from the shabby purple kit. It's from another uh, paper digi paper place on Etsy and it's a place I've really become I've really come to favour it actually quite a lot of, of late and it's called Liana Scrap um, just a scrap not an S on the end Liana Scrap I don't know where she is I think she's in Bulgaria somewhere like that but her papers are really inexpensive and I really like them uh, I love this one, for example. So I've just made a sort of pocket out of that. I've uh, got a journaling card in the back uh, with my lovely whale tail. Um, oh, punch, tab punch uh, from Hilda. Thank you, Hilda. Save the day. Uh, and a little card in there. This is from our um, big book, our Wildflowers of the World book. And can I just say that today, Mr. F has been out and about. Um, he's been to the Wednesday car boot and he's been to around the charity shops in the town on his way back. And he's brought home another um, copy of this Wildflowers of the World book for, yeah, for £1.50. Guys, look, I can't even get it all on the camera. I mean, look, it's fantastic. It's a phenomenal book. Um, one pounds fifty. Look at the plates in here. Look at these. Just, you know, oh, look at that. They're phenomenal. And for you know, if you if you do it the way that I showed you, find the middle of the signature, cut the threads, and then you can pull out the two pages together. Uh, it'll it'll last you quite a long time. So that's two of those that I've now got. Uh, and this one is one of those pages which are folded back on itself and I've just made, um, made a pocket and put two journaling cards in there. All the journaling cards are backed with coffee stained um, thick paper and they've got stencils on of some sort. There's a lot of work gone into this guys. I don't want you to think since the last time I saw you I've been sitting with my feet up drinking coffee because <laughs> that just really happened. We've run out of coffee. Yeah we've almost run out of coffee. Um, and that is a tragedy in this house. This envelope you saw me make, this tummy tuck you saw me make. For you new girls, um, we don't use the expression belly band in this group because it sounds a bit down market. That's, that's it. It sounds down market. So we use the expression tummy tuck for these uh, bands that go um, vertically up the page. And you see here it's got stenciling behind it. Uh, this is that big envelope which is gorgeous, with a nice big journaling card in, and it fits into this little uh, corner pocket there. This is the music sheet. I've done a little bit of collage down there, added a little bit of lace, put this. Uh, Jen isn't here, is she? Je she's at work, Jen. She said she was going to try and sneak in if she could, um, but she's working, poor soul. So I have decoupaged this on. Uh, I've done this, decoupage this bit of uh, collage stuff here, bit of lace, and I've put this silver butterfly on with a bit of bling in the middle. Uh, here I've just done a bit of stuff and nonsense, you know, a little um, kind of snippety cluster thing. Here on this design sheet, uh, I've just got two journaling cards there. And on the other side, I've got a little envelope which is made of wallpaper. 
Therein lies another tale, but, you know, if you've been watching me of late, you'll know what I'm on about. It's just got a little whisper of um, some stencil there, little journaling card inside. There's not an actual whole lot of journaling journaling in this journal. Um, so I've tried to put in big journaling cards uh, so you can journal on those. And there's a sheet of uh, coffee stained lined paper that you can journal on. Now this um, safety pin, no it's not called that, paper clip, is a decorated one and it's the same both sides. So it slips over the top like so and it holds in whatever you want it to hold in. But it looks pretty. Um, and these journaling cards go in this side. Okay, and lace down the side there. This one's from a big bird book. Um, this is vellum, Tim Holtz vellum. Once again from the lovely Hilda. Thank you so much, Hilda, for all you do for the for me and the channel. Uh, it's fabulous, beautiful paper. Uh, this is an em an embossing folder on coffee stained paper, and it's really really nice. And I've just put. Um, just some die cuts, a little bit of fabric, some words, some lace, some butterflies with bling in them. On here we've got one of those little envelopes that I make. Um, I think I've shared the template with you. And it's just card with paper over the top. So I've got that sort of outline, which I like. Big journaling card there with organza ribbon at the top. And it goes down into the back of there. Um, and then three little journaling cards in the front like so uh, this is a, a book page from a flower a seasons of the year flower book I folded that back on itself put a journaling card in there uh, this has just got a little bit of embellishment there which I actually really like I really like that it's pretty uh, and then this is the good job Jen isn't watching because this is the centre spread that Jen seems to think is rude. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and I just think that is, it's such a pretty page. That. And this paper, once again, is from Liana Scraps. And isn't it lovely? So it's got this pocket along the bottom and it's got these decoupaged uh, text tags in there. And two great big journaling cards in the back out of our wildflowers of the world book and a bit of lace along there and i've made that deliberately thin you know i've chosen the thinnest lace i've got to go along there because it's going to fold right back on itself and there'll be bulk there if i'm not careful and i also haven't glued down that center because otherwise when we come to stitch it we'll be trying to get through glue um, and it, it's just going to be awkward and I've put the word that came out of the shabby purple kit from my porch prints. A bit of bling on it. And, you know, I think that looks quite pretty. Um, then here we've just got a tuck spot with some uh, journaling cards in. The other side of our uh, book, flower book, with a nice journaling card in. Uh, it's lovely paper, that's really, really nice. And then here, <laughs> oh, this took me ages to work out. It's, uh, well, you'll see what it is. Do you know what kit it is from Leanna's scrap? Lavender and Lilac, I think it's called. Thank you. Hinny was asking. Yeah, I think um, so. We've had uh, Jean's joined us, but she's having trouble getting the chat up at the side. Ah. Uh, I don't know what the cure is to that, I'm afraid. One of the girls might, oh, well, if you can't see it, though, you can't see it. Uh, it's something to do with what you allow, yeah. your preferences or something. And Kilsha Danny says, just called a Danny. Oh, okay, Danny. Mm -hmm. Welcome along. So, yeah, this, it's like a little wallet sort of thing. Um, it took me ages to work out how to do it. <laughs> uh, and it's just got some die cuts and uh, one of my little dimensional die uh, butterflies with some bling on, bits of fabric and lace, etc. And it opens up like this. And this is a little journal in here. Uh, on this little band across there and the paper is actually dyed uh, a sort of lavender colour and that's just done with watercolour it's uh, dilute watercolour painted onto the white paper and you get that nice lilac colour 
and I've just, uh, as you can see, just stenciled around it. And I've used a three hole pamphlet stitch. See? Jen's there, she's in stealth mode. <laughs> well, look at all the bling, Jen. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> as I was doing it, I was kind of laughing to myself, thinking, oh, about you. Uh, and then I've got a pocket in behind there, like that, that I've done once again on the card. Um, but I mean, you can easily write on that, it's not dark. And that slides in the top part. And then in this part, there's another another card, same as the other one, similar. Um, and that all folds up like that. That folds down and then it's just uh, one of these thingies that keeps it shut. I can't tell you how long that took to design that shape, but never mind. Uh, and then here we've got a three pocket page. This is another bit from Liana Scrap. It's just pretty paper. These two are from the same one from my porch prints, shabby purple, a couple of my dimensional butterflies with some Jen's uh, gems on, uh, some ribbon and lace and stuff. And these have got that's got organza bow, and it's another picture from my world uh, wildflower book, and that slides into there. And these two um, slide into the ones on either side. So that's quite a nice page, quite like that one. Then the other side of that beautiful vellum, it's got such a lovely feel to it. Um, and the bird book, the other side of that. This is what we're gonna be working on today, hence the paper clip there to remind me. This is the page that's in for it today. Uh, but I'll just carry on, we're almost at the back. This is the other side of the music sheet and I've just done a little collage, this is fabric down here, one of the dimensional butterflies with some gems on. Uh, that's the decoupage on there. Uh, then this is just, it's a straightforward pocket, bit of ribbon and lace. Um, this is, for, this paper itself is from Janie B Journals on Etsy as well. And she's another one that's worth looking at. Honestly, her sets are so inexpensive. That's Janie B Journals. And that's a piece of ephemera from My Porch Prints. Uh, then here we've got a pocket. It's just a pocket and a pocket, you know, one behind the other, um, with some stenciling on the back. Great big, enormous journaling card. I mean, gigantic. Um, so there's plenty of journaling on there and two journaling cards in the front. And I've just made a little um, uh, organza bow just to go there, just to, you know, just to pretty it up a bit. And this, you know, down here. Uh, this is the other side of our Wildflowers of the World giant book. And it's got a couple of, <laughs> a couple more giant journaling tags in, cards, they really are massive. Um, and then this is the inner back cover, and it's the same as the inner front cover. This is from Liana Scraps. Uh, these are from my porch prints and it's just a pocket they go into that and then there's a, a journaling card that comes out out of there so that's it that's the last page really pretty page from my porch prints so you know what i've been doing at least um it's all taken time because everything's in giant scale you know it's twice the size of the journals that we usually use uh, that we usually make so everything just to sew around everything, is, it just takes so long. So anyway, I'm not grumbling. Um, so this is the page today. So I'm gonna take the page out. I'm gonna put that crossways on so I know where it came from. And I'm just gonna remove this, uh, these things from it just to make it a bit more easy to manage. So I'm just going to paper clip those together so that I know that they come as a set. I'm kind of proud of this little paper clip. I really like it. I'll show you how to do it in subsequent. I do really like it. I just can't get it to work, that's it. There we are. Um, yeah, I'll show you how I made that. It's not at all complicated, but looks quite nice. 
So I'll pop that over there and hope it doesn't all just slide away. Right. So this side isn't getting anything on because it's got the paper clip with the bits attached to it. This is the page that we're working on today. And what we're going to do is use some wildflowers um, that Mr. Fixit and myself have collected. Um, and actually, we had a really nice time collecting them. Um, it was it was lovely. Um, so I'm going to make an acetate window and stick some of these in um, so you'll be able to see right through it from both sides. So if you want to know how to do that, pop over to the Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal group. Uh, look up the post by Nathania. I can't remember your last name. Nathania, anyway. And she will tell you how to do it. It's easy as pie to do. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is I'm sitting here with these on my right, right hand side. This is a pack of a hundred file folders. A <laughs> hundred guys, a hundred. Um, the Lynn Whitman had heard me say that I just couldn't get, you know, file folders in this country. So she found some, and she sent them to me and it's kind of a challenge now. <laughs> I kind of feel challenged. So uh, I shall be using those in the not too distant future. A bit quite heavy. Right then. So what we need for today is acetate. Campanar. Campanar, that's it. I was going to say Kemper, but I knew that wasn't quite right. Campanar. Campanar. Nathania Campanar. She is the dried flower queen. She will tell you what to do with the dry, how to dry your uh, wildflowers, etc. So I am using today acetate and it's described as colour inkjet film with sensor strip. Um, none of that means too much to us because we're not going to print on it today and it's not going to go through the paper, uh, the printer. It's got this strip on it so the printer can pick it up. And it also has two sides to it. One is a bit sort of fuzzy and the other is very smooth. What we are going to do, if you're, if you're confronted with the same problem, if you've got inkjet um, acetate, then I'm going to use the furry side inside. So I've got the nice smooth side on the outside and I need two sheets of that. So I'll take my two sheets out and put the box away. I'm going to try and keep that as clean as I possibly can. Right, so I what I need is to cut a hole in this and then put my acetate down, then put this on the top with the same hole cut in it. This is one of these sheets from Liana Scrap. Isn't it just gorgeous? It is. Right, so I need to cut this down to the same size as this. So that's my foldy line there. I'm just going to make a little mark in pencil so I can rub it out later. So that's the halfway. And that's the halfway. Okay. So I've got quite a bit of excess on this because remember we cut them down to even the, the walking problem out. So I need to, I quite like this side, but it has got this brown line. So I'll try and get rid of that brown line if I can. So I'll cut it to there and I'll cut it just inside here, just to facilitate the bending of it. So I'll cut it to there. So I'll cut those bits off first. I hope you're all managing quite well with this warmth. I don't know what it's like anywhere else in the world, but in Cumbria today, it's a, one of those rare summer's days. Um, we don't get them very often. So this should now give me the right width, at least. So I'm just using my quilting ruler to square this up. along the, the bottom there. Just in case I made a hash of this, I have got a spare. Because <laughs> it's not, you know, 
it's not unknown for me to make a hash of things so yeah that's going to be fine that's where it folds there and I'm just in from that which is great and that's it nestled up there to the lace on the side so now we just need to mark if I if I have that right on the bottom where do I need to cut it on the top Lost my pencil so there so I'll cut that off there so just square that up along the bottom and with the line that you want to cut it quilting rulers are brilliant I absolutely love them to make getting your measurements I know I shouldn't say this because I know I'm going to cut this and it's going to be all cockeyed oh here's the cat come to join in now is it too warm for you shady he's a jet black cat so I guess he is feeling the warmth today Right, so let's just check that we're doing all right before we go ahead and do anything else. So that's going to go to there. It's going to fold there. Yes, everything's looking okay. Right, so although this is going to be an acetate window, you do need to leave some bit of frame around it because the acetate's a bit floppy. So, you, you know, you need to leave something around it. So what I'm proposing to do Go look at the dirt on there. Is um, do an inch. I'm going to leave an inch frame all the way around it. So I'm just going to mark that out in pencil first, and then I'm going to cut it with my scalpel. Mr. F, yeah. couldn't trouble you to get me a drink, could I please? You could. Right, so that's going to be my, my frame, the bit that's left. This bit's going to be, uh, well, I'm not going to waste it. It's far too nice. So I'm just going to get my scalpel, which has got a new blade in it. So let's just be a bit careful with that. I'm going to get my metal ruler. Thank you, my love. and just put it right on top of the line we've just marked and then go down it with the scalpel now if you're not used to using scalpels please be careful they are sharp it's down to that corner there's always the corners that get stuck so i'm just going to go over that a couple of times So once again we're following the lines. You can see where to stop because we've put the lines in, this is the corner, this is where we need to stop. pressing down quite hard on the ruler to make sure it don't slip and you can see it's cutting hooray I'd like you to know that I am cooking for the cause today it's a good cause to cook for Has anybody else joined us, Mr. F? Or are you or are you doing something else? Oh, you're putting links in? Yeah, just going to your orders to find who you order from. <laughs> uh, I order quite a lot from Calico Collage. Yes. 
Right, so let's see if that's... Oh, look at that. Straight out first time. Brilliant. Now, this this bit of paper is too precious to throw out. Please don't throw it out. Um, it costs money to print. So I'll put that in my lilac drawer in there, which is going to be the other um, lilac file folder. So let's just get this the right way up. That's the right way up. Okay. Now, I need to put this on here and draw around it. And then we've got to scalpel that out as well. Can you feel the tension or is it just me? <laughs> I can feel the tension. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There we go. Right, so just with your pencil, just draw around the inside of your frame. Take your time. You want to get it right. Because it's a bit tricky to fix afterwards. In fact, very tricky. So we should have our frame drawn out. Yes, we have indeed. I'm just going to extend these lines a little bit and that will tell me then where, where I can, where to stop cutting when I'm using the scalpel. Make sure you're right on it. Otherwise, it's very, very hard to see where your corners are. And you won't understand what I'm saying until until you do actually come to do this. And you'll say, oh, yeah, now I know why she was doing that. Right, so it's the same procedure with your scalpel again. I really don't want to wreck this because it's got lace on, etc. I'm going to wreck it anyway, but I really don't want to wreck this one. So there we are from the corner that I can now see because I've extended those lines up to this corner here. I'm just going to just go over that. Okay. Now this side one here. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if you go to my uh, Etsy purchases. Yeah, I didn't realise. It's quite frightening. That I had about 12 pages to <laughs> scroll through. Yeah, I've been, I've been buying a fair bit recently. <laughs> So there's my mark, that's the line that I extended. So this is my corner here. Follow your ruler along till you get to this mark here, which is that corner. And down this one. It's always a bit nerve wracking. I think it's nerve wracking using a, a scalpel on a page that is kind of already got some work done on it. It's quite not square, that's about it there. Because there's no going back really once you've cut it. If it's not right. It's not right. I don't wish to frighten you. <laughs> It's suddenly, all of a sudden, gone incredibly thundery here. Do you notice that, Mr. F? I did. I thought it was just me reading your Etsy list. <laughs> There's a lot of calico collage in there, isn't there? Yeah. Well, there quite a few. Uh... Of all sorts of things. Well, I think I'm on about my 12th shop. Really? 
I didn't know I shopped at that many places. So right, this should be okay. I've just got a little tiny little bit there in the corner. Let's just point that out. There we go. And this now should fit on top of that. Let's put that over there so I don't catch myself with it. So that should be a perfect fit. What do you know? It's a perfect fit. <laughs> well done. The man in the chat while I'm doing this, so I don't think it is happening. <laughs> Actually, I forgot to um, bring myself up. Let's just let's just have a look and see what's going on. Sharice, hello. I hope you're doing all right, my love. I think about you a lot. Um, yeah, we're all holding our breath. I've done it. It's done. It's done. It's done. Ta-da. You're quite right, Donna. So I'm going to put that away in my lilac box as well. Um, right, so the next thing to do is get the acetate out and I want it so the uh, two gritty bits are facing each other there's another bit of cut, cutting coming on guys but it's not quite so it's not quite so awful this bit so I'm just going to bring this in I'm going to make a sort of half inch border around there but it doesn't have to be dead accurate because this is going out over the top of it. So don't, you know, this isn't a, a panicky, panicky uh, thing. <laughs> Not like the last bit. <laughs> this is um, this is called a Sharpie pencil. Uh, it's peel off China marker and it's one of those ones that you write on your kids, gym shoes, gym skirt, whatever it is. Um, it kind of doesn't come off. Um, so I'm just going to, and it, it writes on acetate, which very few things do. So I'm just going to make a mark around here of where I want to cut this. Like I say, it doesn't have to be exact. If you're one of those people that really needs it exact, get your ruler out. But that's just a kind of, as you can see, I don't know, a scant half inch, is it? All the way around, something like that. I'm just going to cut that off together. somewhere I'm going to have to start at the other end because I can't, I can't see what I've done because acetate's clear <gasps> Let's cut up there. just missed my mark up there I think okay right so that's pretty much scrap there's not you, you could make little tabs out of it so that's that that's great look at that it's marvellous Fantastic. Jean says that a checkbook register reads Etsy, 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 Amazon, Etsy, Etsy. Yeah, yeah. mine might do too. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? It's just... Ilda says her online. Uh, Ilda says her online bank app looks similar. <laughs> I think. I think. I think we all do. I think we all do. Right, so I'm going to peel one of these off and just pop it over there for the time being. So I've got the gritty side facing me and it's kind of in the right place there where I want it. And I think I'll just, I think I'll glue that down at this stage. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, look at my good, glorious new bottles. Look at those. These are the ones I used to have which are great, um, but you have to put a pin in them all the time, which is a bit of a curse. And they're quite small. These ones are bigger um, and they've got this plastic, but excuse me, plastic thing silicon. on. Sorry? Silicon. Silicon, yeah, silicon, sorry. Um, which, which you can't lose because it's attached to them, see? And it's silicon, so it's stretchy and bendy. Um, and thank you very much, Lynn Whitman, for those. They're great. Right, I'm going to stick this down, guys, and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Should I use Fabri-Tac or should I use E6000? 
Mr. Trev? Good for the 6,000, eh? 6,000. Why not? I think I've told you about this before. It's called E6000. It's a, it's a strong glue. It's a really strong glue. And acetate, as I'm sure you will know if you've tried to use it before, is a pig of a thing to try and stick down. You think it's stuck, then you go back a couple of days later and lo and behold, boing, it's not stuck down at all. Did you like that? Boing, <laughs> that's what it does. And if you're trying to fold it, forget it. Just you have no chance of it getting it stuck. So Fabri-Tac does stick it, but sometimes you have to be a bit persistent with it. You have to stick it and then put a whole load of weight on it and give it time. This E6000, it's a kind of um, uh, acrylic diamond adhesive. <laughs> right, this is from China, right? I ordered this from Ali, so I'll just, it says, acrylic adhesive is one can satisfy toy, plowers, jewellery, handicrafts and other industries the special Envirom. So, adhesive bonding. And other products are not afraid of bad compared with adhesive acrylic. Bottom. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's not even, it's not even anything like English. But I think what it means is you can stick it to, you know, it'll stick most things. <laughs> oh just, just with your laughing, I'll just <laughs> pop that on and so, so Jean can see. What does she need to see? She wants to know how thick the acetate is. Oh, right. And it's a hundred microns. But you'd get away with thicker, but not thinner, I would say. Oh, my goodness me. Once you've got over your acrylic bottom glue in. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to take this. Into your plow. <laughs> What's plow has got to do with anything? I just don't know. Maybe it meant flowers. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use it. Uh, and I'm going to take it back from the edge. Oh, hang on. I've just thought of something I needed to do that I haven't done. It's got a little pin in the end because it will stick to itself and then you'll be in Queer Street. Um, I'm just going to remove that with my finger. Probably stick my finger. Wipe it on my jeans, of course, as I always do. Um, yeah, what I need to do is ink around here because, believe me, when it's done, you'll see it and it's you'll wish you'd done it. So before I get carried away, stick in my... Uh, Acetate on. That's quite exhausted me, that laughter. <laughs> I feel really exhausted. So into the corner. And I'm doing this on what will be the wrong side, because really the only bit that I want to catch is just the, the top bit, the bit of the white. The very edge, if you know what I mean. So you can't see the white of the paper. Oh dear, that was a funny little interlude. I don't even know what they were trying to say there. But you often get that with things from China, don't you? It's only very similar to you before you've taken your tablets, mind. <laughs> Thank you so much. It can always depend on Mr. Ref, can't you? Right, while I've got it in my hand, I'm going to do this one as well in case I forget. So as you know, I'm using this shaded lilac or whatever it is. I think it's called shaded lilac, yeah. Ink, you could be using, you know, regular um, vintage photo or whatever it is that... I just got a bit cheesed off with vintage photo, to be honest. I fancied something different. So the last project, I used antique linen, which I, quite, which I liked a lot. I liked it so much, actually, I bought another one. It's the first time I've ever bought two. Well, no, I might have bought a vintage photo before. And I also bought a peeled paint because it's my sort of colour. So let's get right into that corner. So I hope you're all having a good day. hope you're all busily crafting so you can show us later on the group what you've been up to.
There's quite a few of them are boiling. Boiling, yeah. Well, look at me. I'm boiling, yet I'm crafting. And I've got all the lights on as well. So that is just, that's not cutting it as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I go around the edge as well? I guess I probably should. I'll lose you down in the garden after. Oh, lovely. I look forward to that. So will the neighbours. <laughs> You look a bit hot yourself, actually. Quite ruddy. He's been running around the car boot this morning, so. Get back in time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do around the edge of here as well. And then there won't be any white bits on show. I'm sorry, it's a little bit tedious, this. But as you know, it's got to be done. Couldn't really do it beforehand because I wanted I wanted you to see how I was approaching the problem. Jan's at work, so that must be warm. Oh, poor Jan, poor Jen, poor anybody who's at work. You have my deepest sympathies. That's it then. I think I think we're all inked up. Right, so now I can get back to what I was doing. This is going to be very tricky to make sure I've got it the right way up. This is my guide here, growing that way. Right, so let's put some E6000 around here like I was about to do before. So you don't need a whole heck of a lot of this. And don't put it right up to the actual window edge, the frame edge, because you don't want it to spread out over the acetate because then that would look unprofessional. I think that's probably sufficient. Oh, it stinks this stuff actually. It smells like petroleum, that sort of smell. And I've got asthma, so that should be fun. So I want the... Um, Just moving the cameras. The gr the gritty side up and I'm just going to stick this down fairly quickly because it does uh, it does go off quite quickly that E6000 so there we are that should do the job nicely Yeah, I'm quite happy that that will stick that down when it's properly properly dry. Right, let's get the, uh, I nearly called them waste flowers, wild flowers, nothing wasteful about them. And let's have a look and see what we've got and what we think we might want where. Well, um, that's rather nice. I like that. These yellow ones are nice. It's got a bit of a tail on it that one will just chop its tail off um, don't forget that you'll be seeing these from back and front so you know try and make some that you can see all the way around sort of thing um, this is this was a clover that I dried it dried really well hmm? hang on a sec I'll just, just one you don't have to lift them all Look at this tiny little speedwell that I got. I don't think you can even see that, can you? It's really tiny, but it's bright blue. It's gorgeous. I love it. So it's going to go down there, I think. Um, what else have I got? This clover here. Yeah, I've got two clovers here. Well, I've got three actually, but one of them, this one here, died that's all sort of seeds that you can see and this one here was still flowering so it's still purple so I'm going to put both a dead and a live one in because I like them that's a live one there um, I've got what else have I got tiny teeny little blue flowers which are really nice I can spread those around um, I've got different yellow that's got a bit of a long stalk 
for that one. Um, oh, I've got these. These are different again. They're little cranes, Bill. They really do well, Nathaniel. It's a brilliant technique. Thanks for sharing it with us. So, so easy. Um, do I need any more? I don't know. I'll just keep going till I've, till I've got all I need. That's a different one again. It's a different colour. Get that one in there. That clover's a bit leggy. Get rid of his legs. Put that up there. A bit like a jigsaw, this. You don't want to move on that furry side of the acetate. Um, have I got any more of those nice little bright flowers? No, I don't think I have. But I have some of these. So I might put that there. That's nice, isn't it? And I've got some of these little buttercups. Look, they're, they're pretty. Pretty. They're pretty, pretty. I love pretty. Everything should be pretty. Yeah, Mr. Fix it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's a pretty nice fella. I think that's. Do you think that's enough? That's enough, Mr. F, or what? I think it probably is, unless we're going to sit here for three days while you stick them down. Oh, sh do shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty annoying as well, apparently. <laughs> I think that's probably all right, except I've just found a buttercup that's really nice and bright. So I'm going to swap him out for that speedwell that's just not quite so nice and bright. There. How about that? I've got some yellow throughout. I've got some blue throughout. I've got this lovely seed head of whatever it may be there. And I've got more for another day. Autumn is coming up in this part of the world. So I'll be out collecting uh, leaves and stuff, seeing what I can do with them. Right. Plenty of heather. Oh, plenty of heather. But it's really wiry stuff, isn't it, Heather? Yeah. I think you'd have you be challenged to dry that out. A bit of a lush heather. Shall I? Yeah. Shall I e six thousand this then? Just a dot of e six thousand. It's up to you. E6000 or fabric tank, I guess, is the options. I'm going to E6000 it. Yeah, you've got E6000, man. Well, it works. Exactly. Right, so I'm just literally going to put the smallest little drop of E6000 onto there. Cause Margaret Faye says she's looking forward to raiding the garden later. Yes. Right, so that's a teeny tiny little drop there. And I'm just going to stick that down because when you stick it down, it so don't put too much on. How's it go again? I can't show you because I'm too busy sticking. <laughs> just the sound effects will do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to really get get going with this because the E6000 is full and it's coming out the nozzle. So I've got to kind of... Um, Go quite speedy. Speedy. Oh, why did I choose so many blinking flowers? Never mind, I did. So I've got to live with it. Oh. It's not a contact adhesive E6000. So don't expect it to stick that second, the second that you put it down, you've got to let it dry. My right hand is really pretty useless. Deborah said I went from pretty to shut up in two seconds. <laughs> yeah. That's true that. I said, trust me, that's not even a record. <laughs> oh, look at that. It must have a string on it somewhere. It's going round and round on its own. <laughs> no, that's not a record. I 
everything I'm doing today is nerve wracking. I'm wracking my own nerves. If we're doing seaweed, you could do rack. I could do rack, I could do bladder rack. I'd take a bit of drying out, I suspect. Yeah. Honestly, I'm really curious to see the flowers that you do dry out and what they're, you know, what, what they're called, where, where in the world they're from, etc. Um, because it's, I, I love flowers. I'd just like to see what you've done, really. I think we're nearing the end here, guys. I've made it through it. Oh no, that's a no place. I think that might be your lot. I'll start running a book, shall I, see if, how many you've missed. <laughs> I can't tell, because I'm not sticking down very well. Yeah. Right, so I, th I think they'll be okay. Well, I'm saying that, they don't seem like they're sticking at all. I'm not getting any stickage at all. Do you think I'm going to have to use Fabri-Tac or what? Maybe we're putting it on the top and yeah. then record it from both angles. Yeah. Okay, so I shall put my E6000 that wants to stick everything away. Uh, and then I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Not that one, this one. Uh, Ruth Arthur says she missed how to dry the flowers. Could you repeat? I, I can. I didn't actually say it because it's over on our Facebook group. But basically what you do is you get your flowers, you get a piece of, um, well, kitchen towel, shop cloth, something of that ilk, and put that uh, on top onto your plate. So you've got your plate, your kitchen towel, then you spread your flowers out, uh, then you put another piece of shop cloth, kitchen towel over the top, then another plate over the top of that. So it's a flower sandwich. Then you put it in the microwave for two minutes, and then you get it out, you take the top plate off and the top shop cloth off and you put them back into the microwave for a further 30 seconds, all on high this is, and um, then just leave them. Leave them to cool and leave them to kind of evaporate anything else that you know they want to give up. And then once they're cool, then take them off the shop cloth. If you try and take it off before they're cool, they, they want to break, they're too fragile. They sort of harden up a bit once they're cool. So that's how to do that. And this is the results. And I mean, it was Nathania that shared it with the group and it's really, thank you is all I can say, it's brilliant. Right, so I'm just gonna, this is my Fabri-Tac. I'm just gonna, I've put E6000 on the back, but if for any case it's not sticking, I'm gonna put Fabri-Tac on the front so one of them will assist. So I'm just going to put a little bit, a um, little bit of fibre tuck in each, on each flower, because I don't want this to, them to all shuffle down to the bottom of the page. Um, so when you open your journal, you've just got a load of like petals and stuff at the bottom down here. Got a gluey string. It's not what I want. I'm gonna want that down there. Like that. Stay there. I think that's it, is that it? I think that's I've it. caught everything. Oh maybe not that little the little fella. There we are, right. So this now wants to come over fairly quickly before the fabric tack dries. And there we are. Press that down hard as you can. 
because at this stage if you've got um, a roller but just be careful they are dry flowers you don't want to wreck them all up so just press them down so as the glue is adhering to the acetate and there we go I think we've got over the the worst of that today guys put my little silicon nobule back on have a drink I'm making this look like hard work <laughs> uh, it feels like hard work to me today and then this frame's going to go on and then before you know it we've actually got look it's beautiful right so i'm going to glue this and i'm going to glue it with fabri tac because it's going to uh, stick onto it let me just check and see if that's e6000 stuck oh yeah it's stuck well right i'm going to stick this then with e6000 as well Can you sew in that one? um yeah i might, might sew I might so i need to stick it down first because it'll move all over the place this would be so I'm just going to put some of this E6000 round and about. There we are. That will be fine. I'm sure. Make sure I've got this the right way up. Make sure I've got it in the right place. Just line it up with the frame underneath. go oh, not bad not bad guys not bad at all so what does it look like on the other side oh look at that it's so pretty oh i'm just gonna get a bit of well actually could you reach me a piece of white paper just actually that bit in the a3 printer will do thank you so then look at this guys this is what we've got here what do you think? A bit of zoomy. A bit of zoomy would be nice. And zooming in, you can move it around probably. It's the acetate's yeah, shining you off just the. Turn them lights off. Yeah, turn that light off and more. Yeah, that's better. You can see better now, can't you? So there we are. Yeah, look at that and when you flip it over just put this here this is what you get this is the kind of back as it were think of that then guys thinking clever isn't it uh run into poison when looking for flowers yeah yeah be sensible guys don't get eating anything after you've picked flowers and don't you know pick your nose and don't lick your fingers etc etc uh now what sound advice not just when you're picking flowers <laughs> to be honest <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true what i would really like to do is sew around there what i'm not willing to do is sew around there while i've got um e6000 that's wet because I really do think that is more than I want to um, give my sewing machine. So, yeah, I am going to sew around there, um, and you'll see it when I do the walk, the you know the flip through of the finished journal. Um, I'll probably sew right around the outside and then right up, you know, to the the edge of the frame. But I really don't want to put e six thousand through my sewing machine. I put most things through it without even thinking about it. But I really think that. You know, with what they told us, 
Heaven knows what that was. With what they told us about this, I don't want to risk my uh, my sewing machine with it. So, so that really pretty much is that today. I hope you've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing it, um, and I think that the outcome is is worth it. I think it's lovely. I hope you like it. So that's it's kind of that. Get my white paper back again so you can see what we've been doing. And all I need to do now is finish this page, then sew the signature into the file cover and we're done. And it will go up in my Etsy shop. Um, if you were thinking about donating to the channel, and I know that quite a few of you do, and for that I'm, you know, well, we're all grateful because without that I couldn't do all this. Um, so if you're thinking about donating to the channel, maybe wait until this goes up in the Etsy shop and and buy this because that way then you're donating to the channel because all the money that comes from selling um, journals goes straight into the this account um, and you'll get a journal you know in exchange for your donation if you like so that might be one way of doing it um, I'll put a message on Facebook when I've put it into the Etsy shop um, I, I hope that you've enjoyed today I hope you enjoy going out picking flowers. It's a it's a lovely thing to do. It's really nice. Um, take your dog with you or your husband, probably in that order. <laughs> Hina says, uh, "Will you show us how you did the centre spread page?" Yes, I will. Yes, yes, I will. That was e an easy page, actually. I'll just, we'll just have a look at that now, but I will show you in some detail. I might have shown it before when we were doing the boho journal. I think it's quite similar to one in there. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, that one. Yes, I'll show you definitely. But as you can see, it's a fairly simple shape, really. Get all of this lot out. It's just a fairly simple shape that I've glued a little bit across there down the sides and along there and cut it off and use the surplus to make this pocket along here um, but no I'll definitely show you now I really think what makes that page is this paper I mean the shabby purple from my porch prints is fantastic it's a lovely uh, a kit and they're ephemera kits shabby um, my porch prints ephemera kits are second to none in my opinion you get so much stuff um, it's not good if you're looking for um, envelopes and that sort of thing. You don't get too many of those, but you get so many journaling cards. Um, really interesting ones as well. So this is the Liana Scraps paper, which is the same paper as we've just been using today, actually, isn't it? Um, as I say, it's not an expensive kit, but it's, it's really nice. And don't just think because you're buying papers that you have to use them like that in your journal. You can cut them up and make tags and all sorts of things out of them, envelopes, anything you want. Um, they come as papers, but, you know, do use them as scrapbook papers, do what you want with them. Uh, this was out of my porch prints, I think. Yeah, it was. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll go through that with you. It's not a problem. It's not. It won't take very long at all. It's uh, quite a straightforward one. These tags are from the wild flowers of the world which is just a remarkable book and these you've seen me do before they're just <clears throat> book pages this this time i've used a book that's actually appropriate it's from the a, her a book about herbs and i've just put uh, decoupage on and a little bit of stenciling around them and uh, some some ribbons in the top just to make them pretty and that's that so that you know that was one of the more straightforward pages actually to be honest so I hope you've enjoyed today. I've certainly enjoyed your company. Thank you so very, very much. Really good of you to join me. Um, I'll be back on Saturday, two o'clock UK time. Um, not exactly certain what we'll be doing. I don't know yet, but it'll be something and it'll be interesting and we'll have a chat and we'll have a laugh like we normally do. Um, this in the meantime, will go up in the Etsy shop. So I'll do a flip through of it um, and put it up for sale in the Etsy shop. So it'd be great if any of you want to purchase that. It's quite a heavy 
uh, it's ended up quite heavy because the, you know the pages are large um, so we'll see what the postage is to the US I'm not sure but I'll put that up on the Etsy posting so thank you very much guys enjoy the rest of your day stay cool if you're in this heat and uh, I'll see you on Saturday two o'clock bye <laughs>